Hi everyone, it's Trish here. Today I'm going to read a set of instructions that you will need to complete assessment task 5.2. Please listen to the instructions carefully and then answer the questions. Make sure you provide the information required. Read each question very carefully. Okay, now here's an example. Uh, if the question asks you to list three imperative verbs that, you, that the speaker uses, you need to list the verb, just the verb. For example, find or learn, not find as much information, just the verb, just the imperative verb. If the question asks you for some sequence markers that the speaker uses, you just write the speak the uh, sorry the sequence marker like firstly or secondly or finally whatever the sequence marker is that you hear, and you just write the sequence marker. If the question asks you to write five steps, choose five steps that you hear, then you must write the five steps. Okay. Um, it doesn't have to be the whole thing, but the most important part. So you need to read the question and answer it correctly and provide the information that is required. Okay, that's very important. Okay, so I'm going to read off a script. I'm going to read slowly and clearly, but also in a natural way. Okay, I can't make it too easy for you. You are insert three after all. And you need to to practice your listening skills. Okay, so here we go. Instructions. Things to remember when moving to a new city. Whether you are moving from another country or from interstate, settling into life in a new city can be challenging. These useful instructions will help you when moving to a new city. Firstly, find as much information as you can about the city before you move there. I suggest you do some research using the internet. Secondly, make contact with any friends or family who already live there. They may be able to help you when you arrive. Thirdly, find a permanent place to live as soon as possible. Having your own place will help you feel more settled. After that, learn about all the available transport options in your new area. My advice is to make sure your mobile phone is always charged in case you get lost. Then download all the important local mobile apps. I suggest the Public Transport Victoria mobile app because it can provide details about trains, buses and trams. It's also important to read the local newspaper. It's free and provides important local news and advertisements. Finally, make contact with your local community or church groups. This will help this will hopefully help you make some new friends. If you follow these instructions, moving to a new city will be much easier. I hope you enjoy your new home. Good luck.